Hello everyone, welcome to UI Brains and this is Naveen. So in this video, we are going to discuss about uh, the predefined functions or uh, sorry, predefined objects of JavaScript. So what are the predefined objects of JavaScript is, let me uh, read all this. So we have very useful uh, predefined objects. One is uh, math objects. So math object is actually for some mathematical operations mathematical operation there is one uh, date object this is for date related operations and we have a number so this is to perform uh, a number specific operations and we have a string for string date operations and we have json and this is for json specific operations okay so in this video we are going to discuss about uh, mathematical operations math objects uh, so first of all, uh, I go to WebStorm. I close all other things. Um, I'll copy the first folder. I paste it. I change this to a 10 underscore js underscore math object. I delete all. Let's make this as math object. And this is also math object. Let me open this in the browser. Um, back to the browser, close this, refresh math object, inspect and console. Yep, ready. So, uh, first of all, um, yeah, math objects. So, math object will use for mathematical operations, it contains a lot of other uh, predefined functions. So, let's see the very first one is the square root. Uh, if you want to provide if you want to find out any square root of any number you can use math object I'll just say let's uh, square root is equal to math built-in objects dot sqrt of this take some 144 so if I just say console dot log of you're gonna see the data back tick sqrt square root of 144 is dollar sqrt so you get the answer as 12 so 12 is the square root of 144 and uh, if you want to find any power okay so 2 to the power of 5 like that so you use power function so p would w is equal to math dot power here i'll say uh, 2 um sorry 2 comma 5 it means 2 to the power of 5 so 2 power 5 is uh, i think 32 so you get the answer in that way uh, let's make a console.log of backtick so 2 to the power of 5 is i'll write uh, the dynamic power you get the answer is 2 power 5 is 32 uh, next we have a beautiful function called min min and max uh, what is min is to find out the minimum among the given uh, different numbers let's take uh, you have two numbers like a and b if you want to find down the minimum you will write a logic like if a less than b uh, a is minimum or else b is minimum if you have three elements you write uh, two if else conditions suppose you have 10 different uh, numbers are there, but i want to find out minimum so for that case we use minimum function so let's see what is that let minimum is equal to math object dot minimum so here you can pass a number of data i'll make 12 uh, 45 78 something 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 okay so i made some um, some numbers so in this i want to find out which is the minimum um you can just say console dot log of minimum is minimum you get the minimum is one because yes one is the minimum number among this and uh, you can even find out the max same way so let max is equal to math dot max i'll just uh, copy the same amount of numbers i'll paste it here uh, here let's say uh, console dot log of max is 
so maximum number is 891 so you can find out the minimum and maximum of this and uh, next you can even get some random numbers you can even generate some random numbers uh, using javascript using a random function random function so what is that is let's random is equal to let's say math dot random uh, math dot random let's say our console dot log of random so you get the random number 0.81 if you're executing again by 7 like this so you will get different different random numbers so actually why we have to use the random numbers is if you want to generate some random ids or you want to generate some random numbers uh, for any id generation or unique numbers uh, then you can go with a random but one thing here is we are getting a zero point something but i want uh, some five six digits dot something if you want to do that just normal uh, simple math you can do uh, uh, ten thousand or one lakh you get the the four digits like that if you want to make a round for this number you have a round function let's make a, a round function also you can just club everything inside a math dot round of uh, the whole number so you get just a number okay in this way okay so these are actually a uh, math uh, functions and you have other lot of uh, math functions you can find them in uh, google you can just go to i'll just give you the official documentation just go to google and search with the command call i think my net is a bit slow i tell you what to type you can just type javascript math using uh, okay javascript math in mdn so MDN is Mozilla Developers Network. That is the official documentation about JavaScript. You can just search JavaScript math in MDN. You get direct uh, MDN dot uh, org. So where you can find uh, the complete math object information about JavaScript. Okay. So fine. So enough with math object. And in the next video, we'll see the data object. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll meet in the next video. Thank you.